What's up, this is Mad Child from Swollen Members, Battle Axe Warriors. What up, it's your boy Trey Nice, repping Battle Axe Warriors all day, every day. What up, I'm Rob the Viking, Swollen Members, Battle Axe Warriors. Arm to the teeth. Swollen is back to reclaim the throne. That's what's up. This is game time, play mine, we're number one. This album definitely has more street-oriented concepts. We definitely, for our long-term loyal fans, wanted to make sure there was a balance of that classic swollen signature sound. For me, it was a great creative imaginative process. Shackle-free, hence arm to the teeth, and the variety and the newness of it. Rob, he would start something, and then we'd come in and give our opinion on what we felt. And then he would uh, spruce it up from there. And before you knew it, you had this finished product that you already had the hook to it and all these ideas because you had already been so far early involved in the creative process of everything. Production is definitely, uh, I took a different angle. I wanted to have something for everybody on this album, not just the underground you know, people and, and not just pop music because that's not what we do all together you know we, we like to be successful in the music that we make but we like to please ourselves as much as the wider audience When we met Trey Nice, it was uh, through a mutual friend. Trey came into the studio like a fucking beast, man. He is, can not only sing, he can rap, he writes choruses and hooks and bridges in fucking five seconds. Five, ten verses a day, no problem, that are all dope. I mean, none of them are throwaways, dude. The kid's a fucking beast. I was just impressed, and we really just gelled with the sounds that we were doing together, so. It's incredible having Trey uh, be part of Battle Axe Warriors and be an integral part of making Swollen Members music. He brings such rawness and freshness and hunger and youth back to the group. I I've actually had to step up my game now that he's a part of our family because he can write five songs in a day and blow my mind with everything. He came in and brought that 20 year old just fucking let's eat up everything, let's fucking get it. And that sort of kicked us in the ass like, oh, this is going to be different this time around. And it is, man, the energy. Having him in the group allows us to be inspired to work harder and faster and just create a whole new sound. I'm a bad, beautiful death machine. 20 grand in my pocket with a gangster lean. Yeah, I'm at the bar like, oh, oh, oh. Hands up, let's go, go. Sipping bottles of control. Ready to rock and roll. Well, the unfortunate thing about the last three years is that I fell real deep into an Oxycontin addiction. I started off doing Percocets and got to the point where I was doing 20, 80 milligram pills a day. Got into a real deep, dark place, but thank God and thanks to my group, Swollen Members, they stuck by my side. We we're fortunate enough from previous success to be able to afford to have a studio in my house where I reside in Kelowna, and the guys basically lived with me most of the time. They'd come back and forth, stay with me for months at a time, and they would direct the, the whole vision of the album really. I think Mad Child has gone through a pretty hardcore life experience and during the recording process of the album he was going through that. The Percocet addiction was for just over a year and then the Oxycontin addiction was for approximately three years and I got to the point actually for the last year and a half where I was doing 20 80 milligram pills a day. $500 a day habit enough to kill a hippo for sure. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I would kill a large animal. I'm very lucky to be alive. Songs like My Life, where he really got to express that. I mean, if you listen to that song, it sort of sums up a lot of what he was going through. I've seen it personally, where he's burnt a cigarette in a shirt because he was sleeping. And he, you know what I mean? And that's just that's just the truth of it all. Got cigarette holes on my couch, on my clothes. Cigarette burns in my house on the floor. I think creatively, he became a lot stronger because he was able to pull through on um pull through and get himself out of that stuff. Mad adds a certain level of intensity and aggressiveness to everything that he does because that's the type of person that he is. And so he comes 
when it, 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 does, it didn't matter what he was doing because when he came to the office, to the studio, to the workplace, he brought his A game. Yes, I am that dude. I said when God made you, he was in a good mood. She said I can't be controlled. No, only a I said you came to the right place, baby, I'm a beast. Okay. We got to, to work with Tech 9 uh, on Bollywood Chick. Tech 9 on Bollywood Chick. Slayed it. We got to work with La Coca Nostra. Those people right there, La Coca Nostra, Tech Nine, Glasses Malone, some of my favorite artists today, right now, all still current MCs, fucking killing it. The song Warriors means more than just a song to me and the whole group. We have a crew called Battle Axe Warriors. It's a brotherhood, it's a movement. It's an independent music movement. We needed an anthem. We gotta, you gotta understand, this is, this is a lifestyle, this is a crew, this is everything. It's not just four guys standing out talking about, I'm a warrior. It was just supposed to be the teaser song. It's becoming the fucking anthem of the album. When we perform it live, it's just such an exciting feeling and it's a refreshing feeling. <laughs> hardcore feeling that we have and I think it gets people excited and I, I mean that it gets me excited. It's turning into a Canada-wide thing, it's turning into an American-wide thing. Hopefully one day we'll be a worldwide brotherhood. And if you with my crew, I'm pointing something at you. Cause pills are no pills, I'm still a battle axe warrior. Take it to the top and my group no glorious. That's right, yeah. my click victorious. All I can say is that we're standing behind this album you know, more than we have for any other album. I mean, this is something that we believe in so much. Because of what was expected of Swollen Numbers, I didn't want to feel like I was in a box. You know what I mean? I didn't want to feel like I had to go down one path. So I just did what was in my heart. There's definitely something for everybody on this album, musically as well as lyrically. And it just allowed for an easy, uh, really fun, creative process. And here we have what I feel is one of the strongest albums to come out in 2009. And that's on to the teeth, swollen members. The people are well prepared, they're all waiting for the day where they can proudly say we fought for a reason. Everyone in black bandanas pledging allegiance. 